Hi everyone, this is Abdul from Pythonist. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to explore how to set up the development environment for Cython on your system. First, we will see the various ways to compile Cython code so that it can be run by Python. There are several options to compile Cython. Cython code can be compiled and run interactively from an IPython interpreter. It can also be compiled automatically at import time. It can be separately compiled by build tools like Python's distutils. And it can be integrated into standard build systems such as make, cmakes, or cons. But in all cases, each method passes Cython code through two compilation stages to generate a compiled module that Python can import and use. The first stage is handled by the Cython compiler, which transforms the Cython source into optimized and platform independent C or C++ code. The second stage compiles the generated C or C++ source into a shared library with a standard C or C++ compiler. It is a shared object file with the .so extension on Linux or Mac OS X and is a dynamic library with the .pyd extension on Windows. Now, let's understand how can we install Cython on various platforms. Many scientific Python distributions such as Anaconda and Thought Canopy and Sage bundle Cython and no setup is needed. However, if your distribution ships a version of Cython which is too old, you may need to install an updated version. Unlike most Python software, Cython requires a C compiler to be present on the system. We can install a C compiler on different operating systems in different ways. If we talk about the Linux, the GNU C compiler, which shortly called GCC, is usually present or easily available through the package system. On Ubuntu or Debian, for instance, you can install that by using the command as sudo apt-cat install build-essential. This command will fetch everything you need. On Mac OS X, to retrieve GCC, one option is Apple's Xcode, which can be retrieved from the Mac OS X developer site at developer.apple.com. One another way to install that is by using Homebrew using the command brew install gcc. And finally, if you're working on Windows, go to mingw official site www.mingw.org and click on downloads on the left panel. You will be redirected to the site which hosts the files. Look for mingw-get-setup.exe file. Download it and launch the installer. Accept the terms and move on. You will now see that the installer is connecting to the internet and downloading a lot of tiny and small files. Wait till it ends. Right when it ends, you will be presented with a window with the title mingw installation manager. You should be in the basic setup tab by default when it launches. If not, click on basic setup. Out of the numerous checkboxes presented to you on the right side, tick main gw32 gcc g bin. If you are prompted with a menu, click on mark for install. Then, on the top left corner, click on installation. Then click on Apply Changes and wait while it downloads a billion files and installs them. Now you gotta edit your environment variables as well so that GCC works in CMD no matter the file location. For that, Go to Windows Explorer, right click on this PC, Properties, then click on Advanced System Settings and hit Environment Variables. 
or you could just search for environment variables in Windows search. At the bottom system variables panel, look for a variable named path and double click on it. Some systems show a good UI for adding a new path easily by clicking new. Else, you just need to add semicolon at the end and add the following path c colon slash min gw slash bin. This is assuming you didn't manually change any installation paths and went with just clicking next during installation. Now click on OK and OK and then finally click on close the other windows. Open a command prompt terminal and try typing gcc minus minus version and hit enter. If you get the detail about the version along with the copyright information, it means gcc has been successfully installed on your PC. Great. Now you have a C compiler GCC installed on your system, whatever operating system you are using. Next thing is the installation of Cython. The simplest way of installing Cython is by using pip. So type the command as pip install Cython. When another option to install the newest Cython release, it can be downloaded from cython.org. Unpack the tarball as you file. Enter the directory and then run the command as python setup.py install. For one time builds, like for CI testing, on platforms that are not covered by one of the wheel packages provided on pip, it is substantially faster than a full source build to install an uncompiled or slower version of Cython by using the command as pip install Cython. Minus minus install minus option is equal to minus minus no Cython compile. Once we have a C compiler and the Cython in place, we are ready to follow along with the distutils and pyx import. Additionally, we will need to have IPython installed to use Cython from within Python. The packaged distributions include IPython or we can use pip to install it. We will take a detailed look about PyX import and disutils in our later videos. I think that's enough for this video. If you like the content of this video, thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Thanks for watching.